So a little bit of an update regarding the lawsuit that Jay-Z is currently in. His lawyer basically did some digging into Mr. Busby and he ended up writing an open letter. On December 8, 2024, plaintiff filed an amended complaint naming my client, Sean Carter, aka Jay-Z, as a defendant in this lawsuit on December 9, 2024, we filed a motion seeking to have the court decline to permit the plaintiff, in this case, to proceed anonymously. As noted in that motion, plaintiff's attorney, Anthony Busby, has engaged in a campaign to leverage unfounded and heinous allegations against celebrities to secure large settlements. He seeks neither justice nor peace for his victims. He seeks only to benefit himself. On the afternoon of December 9th, 2024, after we had submitted the motion and accompanying exhibits, our officers received outreach via phone call and email from an individual who provided her name to us, though wishes to remain anonymous. Marie Henderson spoke with this woman who informed Ms. Henderson that she had previously reached out to the Busby law firm with respect to allegations of trafficking and abuse unrelated to Mr. Combs or Mr. Carter for that matter, the Busby firm representatives with whom she spoke asked the woman when she met Diddy, even though her account did not relate to Mr. Combs at all, members of the Busby firm encouraged this woman to pursue her claims anonymously, even though she did not have any interest in doing so. When the woman raised wanting to talk to law enforcement, she was informed that it was not encouraged. After several outreaches, the woman again spoke with members of the Busby firm, who she felt were pressing her to make allegations of being drugged, held down, and physically assaulted, allegations that were not true. When the woman declined to adopt the version of events proposed by members of the Busby firm, she was summarily dropped as a client. Though the woman provided her identity to Ms. Henderson, she wishes to remain unnamed at this time for fear of retaliation by the Busby firm. The information provided by this woman is in the declaration of Marie Henderson attached hereto as Exhibit A, which of course you can see right here on the screen, Alex Spiro's John Hancock. Now, even though these allegations were not related to Diddy or Jay-Z, they kind of have a similarity when it comes to Jay-Z, especially saying that, oh, she was being held down against her will, things of that nature. It similarly rings the bell, does it not, that I just talked about yesterday on my channel. So it seems that Jay-Z's lawyer is making the accusation that there's a possibility that uh, this law firm, Busby, pretty much this law firm that Busby owns and operates may have allegedly tried to coerce her into saying, oh, Jay-Z did something to you, so let's go get a quick payday. And to back this up, there's been other news articles linking Tony Busby to some pretty interesting things. Even back in 2019, when Mayor Turner called for an investigation, a criminal investigation of Tony Busby for faking a political ad. So be honest with yourself. If you're somebody wanting to represent you, why would you go with somebody who got that much dirt on their resume? Extorting people just because you want a quick buck and it don't come off like you want to really see justice for people it, it, it's kind of a little bit off-putting and even as this lawsuit has been out on the internet for a little while now people have read into it online and people starting to see through it and they looking at it like wait some don't add up here because this is a 13 year old girl that went to a party and you mean to tell me that no other adult said wait this is a little odd you mean to tell me that when this girl got to the mansion, that nobody there was like, this is odd. The security didn't, wasn't like, wait, this is odd. And it's mentioned in the lawsuit. She ran out of the mansion. Nobody tried to stop her. She ran to a gas station. Nobody tried to call the police at the gas station. She called her dad. Her dad wasn't more angry at the fact that she snuck out the house mingling with grown-ass men it still kind of makes you wonder how pissed was the father finding out that this that his daughter was trying to mingle with grown-ass men and and i'm pretty sure there's a lot of fathers out there that would be like wait why would you be out here hanging with these grown-ass people some adults are weird like do you know baby girl if you walk through the wrong door 
I may never see you again because there's some weirdo behind there that wants to do something that you may not want to do. This is why parents raise kids on the principles of don't talk to strangers. Don't be trying to be buddy buddy with strangers. And then you can also make the argument that maybe the police departments didn't want to like pursue charges against Jay-Z at the time because keep in mind Jay-Z was still in his early years of being a rapper still kind of wet behind the ears new still new fresh on the scene and who would have wanted to be that police department that presses charges against jay-z a beloved up-and-coming icon there was a lot of people that didn't want to do it and this just comes to show that a lot of people love jay-z if you're somebody who's viewed as a lovable person they're gonna defend you no matter what or they're just gonna be like maybe we ought to you know have a hands-off approach with this what what if the father put her up to this allegedly like it, it makes you think if the father devised this whole plan of allegedly telling people that jay-z did something to me when i was 13 just to get a quick payday just to get a settlement and that's it i don't know shit but i it's one of those things i would not put past certain parents because let's be honest there are certain parents that that would literally tell their kids hey that man touched you they won't ask them if they touched them they'll tell them that they touched them just to get a quick payday one case on its own it just sounds super sketchy the more you read into it with diddy i believe that by the time he put out his own little mission statement it was a little bit too late people done already seen enough there was already a bunch of victims stepping forward back to back to back he had already lost a bunch of business dealings back to back to back and then right after that we seen everything else that happened earlier this year his house gets raided you had the video of cassie come out which to me when i seen that video of cassie to me that made me believe and still makes me believe he did anything and everything they're accusing him of oh and besides the fact that diddy is currently locked up and has got charges slapped on him and he did get arrested so until we get to that point where jay-z gets arrested then like i said before i'm not gonna believe this until that happens i'm not saying i need to see anything i just need an arrest to be made if that's the case and jay-z has been going on record saying yo if you think i did something press charges against me and we'll take this to court criminal court not civil which of course the jane doe's lawyer tried to say well the client didn't necessarily want to be compensated but they did want to be compensated it was total bs all in all i think that this lawyer should be barred from this case i think that mr busby should be taken off of it and they should find somebody else to represent this woman to go after jay-z time will tell what'll happen it'll, it'll make you think how closely the nfl is watching this if they're going to take any action um they possibly got their own private investigators looking in this matter as well so there's that but with that being said i'm gonna leave this up to y'all in the comments below what do y'all think till next time i'll see y'all in the next video peace